Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Sorry. Hello. It's all right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to classes. Are you ready? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. Nice. No rain today? Yes. It's raining. And I was being aquatic and I just be here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been driving. Yes. The whole country. <laughs> Okay. It's uh, fifth, uh fifteen minutes, if like fifteen minutes from where you live. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is another city, right? It's another town. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hello, everybody. Well, on the chat, please say how you feel today. I feel tired. I feel exhausted. I feel happy. I feel nervous. I feel hungry. How do you feel? Say good evening, everybody. Of course, that's the first thing. Show manner. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. I just wow. felt exhausted. Exhausted. A X A S A U. T E D. E I D. Uh huh. T E D. Just like exhausted. Exhausted. Mm hmm. I feel exhausted. Uh huh. I feel relaxed, calm, cool, nervous, excited. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. energetic <laughs> how do you feel sleepy <laughs> They're sleepy tired good I feel so tired uh -huh. some people say I feel so tired remember I siempre tendrá que ser capital letter El pronombre I is always mayúsculo. No, no, I feel good. Uh -huh. Hello, everyone. Say how you feel. Say good evening to everybody. That's great. Well, thank God we're fine. We're okay. We're here. We are ready to learn. We're ready to practice. Did you start a section four? Raise your hand if you already started section four on the platform. Yes? Section four, everybody start? Yes, nice, good. So what is the section four about? Uh-huh. What is section four about? It's about numbers, weather, uh huh. What is it about? De qué trata la section four, vamos a ver. I told my father I'm here in class. Ah, no problem. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Uh -huh. ¿Quién nos puede describir de qué trata la Section 4? Uh -huh. Vocabulary is about? Yes, anybody? It's about present adjectives. Continuous. Possessive. Adjectives, present continuous. Adjet okay, possessive adjectives. What else? ¿Qué más se han dado cuenta que se trata la Unit 4? Of section four. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No more. <laughs> All right, no problem. 
I see. Probably you haven't checked very well yet. It's all right. No problem. So first things first. I'm sorry if you listen to my dog. Yes, tell me. Eh, de, de las estaciones también. Ajá, ya me the season. Hey. Okay, and what season is right now in El Salvador? It's raining. It's raining. In raining. El Salvador, we only have two seasons, actually, you know. In other countries, they have four seasons, right? They have winter, summer, spring, and fall. But in El Salvador, we only have two. We usually say summer and winter, but actually it's just dry, you know, rain and rain in season, right? Supposedly it's, I mean, <laughs> the rain in season starts by April or May, but now it's June and it barely rains in some places. So it's very little rain now in June. If you are a farmer and if you cultivate food, Teacher, I don't Teacher hear no you. Se le escucha. I don't I don't hear you. Yes, but I don't see you. <laughs> Hi, can you hear me now? <laughs> it's, the, it's the connection, bro. It's very bad today. I'm sorry. All right. Are we ready for the attendance? Yes. Okay, one second, please, one second. Can you hear me? Yes. Raining here. All right. Attendance, are we ready? Ready. Ready. Nice. All right. Here we go. Adriana. Present me. Hello. How are you, Adriana? Fine. And you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. Alma? Alma? I present the teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello. Ana Beatriz? Present the teacher. Hello. Anderson, Armand, él nunca se ha conectado, la verdad. Right? Solo tenemos Juan Armando. Armando Antonio, actually. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. Brenda. Present. Hello. Christina Michelle. Present. Hello. Diana Jamilet. Present. Hello. 
uh, Elmer Alexander. Sí, Hello, hello. Erika Lisset. Yes, estoy conectada, pero esto todo es traba también. Pero actual también. All right. Dígame, Cristi. No le escuchamos, Cristi. Eh, se me fue por error. Ah, por ok. No hay problema. Sí, Sí. Entonces le bajo la mano. <laughs> ok. It's very funny because it's a lower hand, raise your hand. So it's funny. Ok, no problem. Ok. So we got Elmer, Erika, Fátima. Not here. Ready? Yes, teacher. Yo, yo sí. Bueno, sí, no Elmer, ah, okay. Elmer sí. Right. Erika and Fátima no. Freddy? Present. Hello. Hazel? Nope. Present. Hello. Jocelyn? Jocelyn? Carla? Sí. Jocelyn, ¿qué? Jocelyn, Tatiana. Hello, present. Hi. <laughs> Carla y Amilet? Ya preguntó Fátima. Yes. Present. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Carla. Catherine. Present. Yes. Fátima, right? Kevin. Present. Hi. Maria Jose. Present. Hello. Uh, Marisol. Present. Melissa. Present. Nelvin. Present. Hello. Olympia. Present. Hello. Roxana. Roxana Arely, not here. Present. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ruth. Sandra. Present. All right, thank you. Tatiana. Present. Yadira. Present. Jocelyn Arlene. Present. Selena. Present. Hello. Alguien que no hayamos mencionado o se ha incorporado después. Somebody. A mí me mencionó porque tenía apagado el micrófono. Alma. Yes, no problem. Si sí, ya la había visto, estaba por ahí. Yo, yo okay. teacher. Yes. Ruth. Ruth. Yo, teacher, sí. Thank you, Ruth. ¿Alguien más? ¿Someone else? ¿Somebody else? ¿No more? That's it. Ok. Erika. Erika has problems with the internet. I'm sorry, Erika. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay, as I was mentioning, yes, unit four, section four, the vocabulary. All right, yes, it's about what you say, about the weather, about the adjectives, possessive, mine, your, his, her, of course, in sentences. Because when we speak, we speak with sentences. We don't speak with isolated words. Sentences son oraciones con sentido completo, ¿verdad? Like, I live in San Salvador. Yes, I don't like chicken. So, it's complete idea. 
So, of course, when we talk about possessive, yes, we learn the words, but we also use the words in a sentence, okay? Because that's the main point. All right. Give me one second, because I, I don't know what's happening here. Let me just fix this. And it should be right here. Okay, here we go. All right. This is our class or our session number 10. That means we are on the third week and now we are going to start the session four, okay? Or the unit four. Of course, we get to remind people about the good way of behaving, their attendance, your full name, which is very important for the program to have a full name as in your documents, okay? Cameras on, chat and raise your hand. Of course, if you participate actively, it's great. And of course, you respect all their participants, right? So your attendance, very important. The time of the class that we should have because of the 60 minutes are real important as well. And of course, working on the platform, which is necessary, okay? So these are some of the guidelines for the class so here is the reminder for the week three complete section four and 50 percent of section five so that next week everybody finished before we finish the course everybody finished all right all right at the end of this session or the end of this class participants will be able to name clothing items and colors right I'm not wearing boots, okay? So these are just some of the items, okay, of clothes, okay? We wear clothes, right? So you're wearing a, what are you wearing? <laughs> you're wearing pajamas or you're wearing shorts, you're wearing jeans. So what we wear in English, lo que llevamos puesto is wear, wearing, okay? If it's affirmative, I am wearing. If it's negative, I'm not wearing. Yes? And here we have some vocabulary for clothes. Clothes for work, clothes for leisure. It's not the same clothes that we wear for work or for formal situations than the clothes that we wear for leisure. For leisure is for relax, right? For time in the house for going out with friends for, yes and when we say sweet it's only for men no it can be for a woman too you can mm -hmm. yes for a man it's more common that they wear suit but a woman can also wear a suit actually this should be a, a skirt suit I think Nelvin's microphone. Okay, thank you. Well, yes, I was explaining. Usually when it's the same, like we say traje sastre, right? Mm -hmm. So it's when it's formal. It can be a suit. For a woman, usually it's a skirt and the um usually a jacket for the same color the same uh fabric and sometimes it can be pants as well okay and of course people usually look like this when they go to work when they go to formal settings formal situations right so all the clothes as possible but there are some, it gives the idea of what you are wearing, okay? So for work, it's a coat, it's usually abrigo, okay? It can be usually when the weather is cold or when it's raining, we wear a coat, right? In El Salvador, it's not very common because of the weather. The weather usually in El Salvador is hot, we don't need a coat because yes 
a lo mucho llegamos aquí, jackets, right? Or blazers. But it's not really for the weather. Or maybe when it's raining, a raincoat to protect from the rain, a plastic, right? A waterproof coat, but not like this, like when it's really cold. Okay. So for the man, he has a coat, he has a shirt. Shirt is usually a uh, formal shirt, right? With bottoms, sometimes with long sleeves, right? Sometimes with shorts. Belt, jacket, and pants together usually make a suit, right? So we say formal suit. I don't hear, hear you. So what's happening with you here today? Sure, don't hear you. Um. I don't hear. Can you hear me now? Yes. So yeah. it's all right. It's all right. I don't know what's happening with the microphone. I think the computer it's weird yeah. today. It doesn't like the weather, probably. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Not class. Uh huh. Wait a second, this is microphone, a re real talk, same as system of speakers. All right, I think it's, it's much better now. So, as I was saying, blouse, a scarf. People usually wear a scarf also in cold weather, right? Skirt, high heels. All right, this is like basic stuff, right? I would say a jacket as well as the same as the skirt. So for a woman, probably is also a suit, a formal suit for work. Now for leisure, what do we wear for leisure? For the lady, for leisure is for free time, okay? For relaxing. Okay, a hat, it can be different styles of hat. Gloves, because of the weather as well, gloves. Okay, jeans. Sweater, sweater is in English already, you know, sweater and boots. And for the men, a cup, a t-shirt, shorts, socks, and sneakers. And sneakers are usually tennis shoes, okay? Sport, comfortable shoes, okay? So they're called usually sneakers. They're usually called sneakers, right? Okay, so here we have some vocabulary for clothes. And what about you? What are you wearing? I'm wearing... Wearing a white, blue shirt. Mm -hmm. um, I sneakers, um, black sneakers mm -hmm. and blue jeans. And blue jeans, right. Okay, I'm wearing, you say I'm wearing. Uh -huh. If you want to mention the color, it's perfect because that's part of the lesson today. Yes, people say I'm wearing and the color and then the clothes, right? So exactly. For example, uh, hey, so what are you wearing today? I'm wearing um, a blouse. Color pink. Oh, you switch pink blouse. And pants color gray. Okay, gray. So you can say perfectly, I'm wearing uh -huh, a pink blouse. I'm wearing gray pants. All right. Uh -huh. and I'm not wearing shoes. And you're not wearing shoes. Nice, because you're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine, <laughs> show me. Imagine if you are in cold weather when it's raining, when it's snowing. Yes, you definitely have to be wearing boots. 
or at least choose, right? All right, so this is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to practice the vocabulary. Maybe there are more vocabulary, okay? So the idea is, in general, to practice this vocabulary, but then to describe what you are wearing, okay? And you can say, I'm wearing glasses, I'm wearing earrings, I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing socks, whatever you are wearing. And then mention at least something that you are not wearing, yes? One thing that you are not wearing. For example, I can say, I'm wearing black pants, I'm wearing a brown blouse, but I'm not wearing earrings. It's really uncomfortable when you have the earphones and you have the glasses and you have earrings. So so many things on your ears. So I'm not wearing earrings. I took them off already. Okay. So I'm not wearing necklace. I'm not wearing a watch. I'm not wearing rings. So I'm not wearing anything of jewelry. Okay. And I'm not wearing shoes, I'm wearing sandals <laughs> because I'm in the house already. <laughs> so you can mention what you are wearing in at least one or two things that you are not wearing. So practically in the groups, you're going to mention the clothes items here in the vocabulary, and you're going to describe what you are wearing and what you are not wearing. Yes? Yes. Any question? Algo que no haya quedado claro? ¿Cuántas dijo de cada uno? Lo que están usando y por lo menos okay. dos cosas que no estén usando. Usando okay. la expresión I'm wearing, I'm not wearing. Yes. Y practicar este vocabulary. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? No. Sure. Después me voy a preguntar. <laughs> I'm going to ask later, okay, to see if you practice. All right. And I'm going to ask randomly. Okay, let's go. Hola. ¿Qué tiene usted? Hola. Pareja lo vamos a hacer, uno por uno. ¿Cómo? Uno por uno lo iría haciendo. Uh -huh. Dos, Dos, ajá, dos por cada uno, creo que es. Ah, ¿Quién comenzará? Primero la dama, después los caballeros. <ríe> Como bueno, quieran. <ríe> Vaya, comienzo yo. Entonces, I wearing uh -huh. a shirt. Mm, what does it mean, shirt? Shirt. 
¿Quién más? Eh, ahora voy yo. Eh, sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Yes, sí. Um, I'm not wearing rings. Eh, I'm not wearing socks. Eh, I'm not wearing hat. Siguiente. Um, I'm wearing. Partan la. No pueden compartir el video del, la, de la compu. Eh, no, porque yo no. Este, la imagen, dice usted. Sí. Ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp, lo ha mandado. Ay, voy a decir yo. Bye. I'm wearing glasses and I'm not wearing rings. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien más? I'm wearing pink shorts and I'm not wearing jeans. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Quién sigue? ¿Vos? Yo. Sí. <laughs> Dale. Um, I'm wearing a, a black uh, shirt. Es shirt, no sé, shirt. camisa, no sé qué. Sí. Uh -huh. Lo que es, está usando usted es un suéter, que sería suéter. Sí, es que tenía una niña, no me había fijado que el suéter era. <risa> <risa> Antes andaba de negra. <risa> Porque se puse así. Este no es suéter, es como una camisa. No, no. No fui bien, no. Seguimos con otra. Sí. Sí. Um, I'm wearing green shirt. Um, I am I'm not wearing black shirt. Pero esta también blues. Casi no sé cómo se dice. Sería de averiguar. Um, hay otra compañera también. Eh, pulsera, sí, no, no tengo idea cómo se dice, la verdad. Ya vamos a averiguar. ¿Y cola? Um, tampoco. Yo de eso no. Okay. Everybody's here? Yes. Thank you. We're still waiting for some people returning okay. from the breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cristina, tell us. Este, eh, teníamos un problema en el grupo que era que si iba el color primero y luego la prenda o al revés the color first <risa> el color primero sí lo que pasa es que en inglés los colores son adjetivos y los adjetivos describen las prendas a ah. pink 
dress, a white blouse, yellow skirt. Yes, así. Ok, gracias. Okay, no problem. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? No? Sure. All right, let's listen to Selena. What are you wearing? I am wearing short and earrings. I am not wearing socks and sweater. I'm not wearing a sweater. All oh, right. Nice. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, my internet is bad. I told you. <laughs> 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 Jadira, what are you wearing? And what you're not wearing? Una que ande puesta. Todas las cosas que puede escribir que ande puesta y al menos dos que no manche. Okay. I wear in purple short. Uh, I am wearing no jeans. I'm not wearing jeans. No. Okay. I am not wearing sneakers. Creo que se dice. Sneakers. Ajá, sí. I am wearing black shirt. Okay. A black skirt. Sí. And a purple blouse. Mm, are you wearing sandals or shoes or boots? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing boots. Barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everybody's in the house, so everybody's barefoot, probably. Teacher, <laughs> yes. We have a question. How do you say um, cola? De, ¿cómo? De cabello. Uh -huh. Pony tail. Como pony. <laughs> pony tail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm wearing a pony tail. <laughs> and pulsera. Bracelet. Bracelet. Yes. Para lo que concierne a bisutería o joyería, si lo quieren decir en general, puede ser jewelry. Jewelry. Sí. Jewelry. Is jewelry. A... Ajá, y ahí incluyen bracelet, rings. Utilería. Ajá, joyería. Oh, okay. Ahí incluyen bracelet, rings, necklace, earrings y todas esas cosas que adornan. ¿Y en interiores? <laughs> Underwears. Underwear. Okay. Yes, underwears. Veamos, mm -hmm. somebody else. Alma, what are you wearing? Tell us, what are you wearing? Mm, de las palabras que dijo que formáramos, ¿verdad? De lo que sea, usted está usando, de lo que lleva puesto. Eh, como con las compañeras estamos ahí, vea. Uh, I'm not wearing boots. No You're not si wearing es... boots. That's sí. okay, great. <laughs> I think nobody's wearing boots. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm not no. wearing shoes. Uh -huh. eh, I am not wearing a skirt. Me parece a skirt. Que es a skirt. A skirt. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué sí está usando? Perdón. ¿Qué sí está usando? Porque me he dicho hasta ahorita todo lo que no está usando, pero ¿qué sí? ¿Qué lleva Estoy... puesto ahorita? I'm wearing. Una blusa. I'm wearing. Una... Ajá, yeah. ajá. A blouse. Un short. I'm wearing shorts. Y... Ay, no sé qué me funciona. Una blusa. No es lo que estoy usando. I'm wearing a blouse. I'm wearing shorts. Uh -huh. And? Glasses. Glasses. 
<laughs> I'm wearing glasses. All right, very good. Nice. Armandito siempre me ayuda porque yo casi no entiendo. <laughs> In your partners at work. No. No. Solo se conocieron en la know. clase. I, yes, really? I don't know in person. You think they're partners at work? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Nice. Okay. Brenda, what are you wearing? La que sí estoy usando. I wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. um, I wearing a shop. La que no estoy usando. I not wearing pants. I'm not wearing pants. I not wearing hat. I'm not wearing a hat. Nice. Brenda, are you wearing the uniform? ¿Cómo? Are you wearing a school uniform? Yes, dear. Yes. And how old are you, Brenda? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Are you 15, 16, 17? Uh -huh. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. No. ¿Cuántos años tiene? Tengo diecisiete. Ah, I am mm -hmm. seventeen. Mm -hmm. And you are in high school. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. What's the name of your high school? <laughs> en la misa Alma ahora sí te sirve de traductora mira <laughs> so nice she's good she's learning yeah I see ¿cómo se llama tu high school? ah uh, este complejo educativo cantón San Lucas cantón San Lucas San Lucas Really? Mm, tú debes conocer al, al teacher Armando. Eh, sí, sí. Ah, <laughs> I know him too. Armando Argueta. Uh -huh. Ajá. We are friends. Ahí me lo saludas. Bueno. <laughs> Ahora él tiene su academy. ¿Cómo? Él que tiene su academy ahí on Saturday. Sí, ya estoy viendo ahí también. Nice, very good. Congratulations. Say hi. Qué pequeño es el mundo. What a small world. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. Okay. Nice. Let's continue. I get excited when I, when I meet a friend, I see. Huh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I get this presentation a little bit confused oh yes right here well if you have any question don't hesitate okay i only ask a few people but if you want to participate say yes i want to participate i want to describe what i'm wearing yes don't be shy all right so these are some other pieces of clothes that we usually i mean have like raincoat, dress, still for work and for leisure. We have pajamas, swimsuits when you go swimming. So you get swimsuits for boys, swimsuits for girls, pajamas usually, pajamas for men, pajamas for women, right? For warm weather and for cold weather. So this is cold. This is warm or hot, like El Salvador, right? So we got warm weather. Like right now, during the day, it's really warm. Mm. And of course, in other countries, it's really cold. All right. So what clothes can you wear for warm weather? 
in general. Wear a top. A top. T-shirt. T-shirt. Short. Shorts. Hat. Hat, because it's hot. <laughs> so we usually wear a hat or a cap, right? Uh -huh. Swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit when you go swimming, when you go to the pool, right? Mm -hmm. What else we wear for warm weather? Sneakers. Sneakers could be mm -hmm. sandals, right? Shorts. Skirts. And, 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 and the more important water. <laughs> Drink water. That's very important. All right. What about for cold weather? What do you think people in cold weather usually wear? Sweaters. Sweaters. Mm -hmm. Gym. Sky. Gloves. A scarf. Gloves. A scarf. Exactly. Scarf. In cold weather, if you don't have gloves and a scarf and coat you really dead because it's really terrible believe me and usually people wear boots and heavy socks like really thick socks right what do you like to wear what is your favorite favorites? i like to wear mm -hmm. t-shirt i like to wear t-shirts in shorts. I like to wear shorts. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Swim suit. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Suits. Swim suits. Swim, swim suits. De nadar, swim suits. Swim suits. All right. Swim suits. Okay. Anybody else? Favorite clothes? What do you like to wear? I like to wear. I like to wear sneakers. I like to wear sneakers. Nice. I like to wear I like shirts. to wear dress. I like to wear dresses, Armando. Shirts. Shirts. And, and suits. Yes. Oh my god. Pretty elegant. <laughs> All right. He is a formal man. <laughs> okay. Some people like I to wear uh-huh. Wear high heels. High heels. You like to wear high heels. All right. Mm -hmm. Some people like to wear jeans. Watch. All right. A watch. Socks. Cap. Some people love wearing caps, right? Uh -huh. Some people love wearing sweaters. Like teenagers. Yes, tell me. Um, in hat, ¿es solo gorro o...? Es todos los estilos de sombrero. Gorro, sombrero, mm -hmm. todo. Y cup. la gorra sí es cup. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I was saying that teenagers mm -hmm. love to wear sweaters. I don't know why, but they love to wear sweaters. <laughs> okay. Some people love wearing jeans. All right. That's another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of practice with the colors. ¿Ya se sabían los colors? A little bit. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. Ok, por lo general, si los colores son claros, usamos la palabra White. light. Light green, light blue, y si la, los colores son fuertes, usamos la palabra dark. Yes, dark gray, dark brown. So that's why we have this right here. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. And then we have the normal colors, right? Like red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Y en todos los colores podemos usar la palabra light para colores claros. Y dark para colores oscuros, right? right. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's practice the color a little bit. Y pues hagan esta parte de decir what's your favorite color. O también usar la imagen anterior y decir the suit is blue, the pajamas are red and white, 
the coat is brown y describe usando ya los colores. Obviamente aquí lo estamos poniendo el color después porque estamos usando is. Yes, pero si sí, ustedes dicen I am wearing a blue suit or my suit is blue. Ahí sí lo podríamos decir después porque estamos diciendo es tal color. Pero si solo quiere decir un suéter blanco, I'm wearing a white sweater. A menos que diga, my sweater is white. Bien, so, existen las dos formas, pero con la segunda tenemos que usar el verb to be. All right? Ready? Yes. Okay. Let's make different groups for different practice. Let's go. Eh, empiezo a preguntar. Sí. Sí. What favorite colors? What tour? What 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 are? What are? What are your favorite colors? I my uh, my favorite color are red and purple okay. and my blue my blue is pink okay. mm -hmm. Ahora creo que usted me a a um, what are your favorite colors uh, my favorite color is pink and white and green. De ahí que teníamos que hacer solo eso, ¿verdad? Como yo le entendí que describir este como los colores de algo que estás usando. Okay. La segunda cómo se puede hacer? Eh, yo, yo creo que podemos poner lo que tengamos. Sí, ¿Hola? podría ser como la que tenemos. Your shirt, my shirt is uh, light blue. Eh, yo le escuché que sí hay que decir cuál es el color favorito. Eh, por ejemplo, para preguntar sería, what are your favorite colors? Y la respuesta sería, my favorite colors are red and purple. Pero eh, si solo es uno, sería. ¿Ya? Ya tienen cada una. Van a decir cuál les gusta cada uno. Ajá. Uh, yes. I know wearing shoes. Shoes. ¿Cómo se dice? Yes. Calcetines. Shoes. Socks. 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 Entonces, uh, uh, I'm wearing socks white. Ok. My shoes are color purple. purple. And my pajama is color pink and gray.
I'm not wearing socks. And this. Is brown. Si su blusa es o su camisa es color café. Um, not. Dice, the shirt is color que gris, gray. Gray. That shirt gray. That shirt gray. Okay. 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 Anybody wants to express his or her favorite colors or the things? Anybody or volunteers? Repeat, please, teacher. Anybody wants to talk about her or his favorite colors or describe clothes and the colors? Mm -hmm. In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite color is blue. Uh -huh. What's your favorite color? Right, you can say my favorite color is blue or my favorite colors are, uh, if you have more than one. Blue. Like uh -huh. blue. blue and white blue. And the shirt I'm wearing is light blue, right? <laughs> okay, so nice. you can say that, all right? Anybody else? Somewhere else? My favorite color is cyan. All it's right. Not, it's not here. Mm -hmm. And you're not wearing anything of that color. Yes. Not today. All right. <laughs> That's a very different color, actually. <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> all oh, right. Me. Uh -huh. Like all the, the colors related to blue and light blue. Okay. Nice. Okay, anybody else favorite colors? Cristina's favorite color? Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se diría este el color turquesa? Turquís. Turquís. Yes. Tur turquís. Turquís. Entonces, my, my favorite colors is turquís. Really? Nice. Only one favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue. Okay. My favorite color is purple. Purple. Uh -huh. My favorite color is black. Black. black My favorite color is yellow. Yellow. <laughs> nice. My favorite color is red. Red. Oh, wow. Yes. Interesting. Well, it's okay. You can mention more than one color and then you can say my favorite colors are, yes? For example, it happens to me that mm -hmm. I have, uh -huh, in plural, that I have different colors for different things. For clothes, it's one color. But for the house, if I have to paint the house, it's another color, right? <laughs> or for different objects, it's different colors. So I love different colors depending of the situation, right? Okay, thank you very much for attending. It's nine o'clock already. We gotta go. We gotta join the other class. And we'll see you tomorrow. Keep working. Continue working. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.